Welcome everyone to Juno Sweet Just Commentary. Um, in this world that we are living in, this sort of crazy world that we are living in, a lot of things have been justified by people's rights. And abortion is one of the things that is really, really starting to take over. And it's almost becoming a norm for someone to walk into a building and say that they would like this form in them to just be taken out and thrown into the garbage. This is saddening and sickening. The fact that a human life has started to grow and the, and the world is not saying much and the, the law is giving people the permission to just kill a form of life is just saddening. So just to say that I will never support the idea of abortion, I don't really think that there is no way that a human being is being formed and it's by error. I don't think it's by error. The act of how someone might have been created or how a baby might have been formed might have been grievous, bad, um, rape, all kind of things, but there are also good ways people marry people, people who are in love and so on make children. But the fact of the matter is, there was a law, the opportunity for a sperm and an egg to meet to form a human being. And we, I don't think anyone should be justified to kill a baby or a, a fetus because of how the child might have been created. Allow that child to form and give out that child for adoption or something. There are so many couples, families craving to have a child and they can't make children. And here it is that laws are being put in place to allow people to just pull that out and throw it into the rubbish. No. So I am not ever going to say, okay, you can abort a child. Never. It's never okay. Never okay. This is just so sickening that this is how our world is getting. But we are going to react to a video which should show the importance of pregnancy to show or should show the importance of childbearing and i think that um this one to my thai supporters um you guys may not um see the the word understand what they're saying but just by watching the video you should understand and i hope that you guys enjoy it of course thank you for requesting my friend on facebook subscribe and like okay let's go ahead the so first three weeks of pregnancy include the two weeks after your period begins and fertilization of the egg. Yeah. The sperm and egg unite to form a single cell called a zygote. Yes. The cell divides to form a cluster of cells that travels down the fallopian tube to the uterus. Wow. During week four of pregnancy, the single cell zygote divides many times to form a ball of cells with an inner group and an outer shell known as a blastocyst. Wow. The blastocyst reaches the uterus and within a couple of days implants itself in the wall. During week five of pregnancy, wow. or three weeks after conception, the dividing cells of the embryo form a disc which folds into three layers. These layers are the beginnings of the organization of cells I've never that will seen develop that into like that. all of the organs and tissues of the human body. A groove forms down the center of the disc, which now has a top and bottom, front and back, and left and right side. This neural groove deepens and then forms a tube, which will develop into the brain and spinal cord. Oh my gosh. An early circulatory system develops from tubes on the left and right side of the groove. The tubes merge, kink, and fuse together to form the chambers of the heart, which will begin to beat and pump blood. The central nervous system is also developing, and oh the gastrointestinal tract begins to form. Simultaneously, the surrounding environment is also changing to nourish, Whoa. protect, and support this development. That is so... During week six of pregnancy, or four weeks after conception, the neural groove down the center of the embryo closes like a zipper forming a tube that becomes the spinal cord and brain. Wow. The closing is faster toward the head end as the different parts of the brain develop. The ends of the groove then close. The heart now beats and pumps blood. Other organs and facial features are becoming more defined. Tiny buds appear that will become arms and legs. The embryo starts to take on the shape of a C. Its skin is so thin it is transparent. It is about an eighth of an inch long. If of an inch. During week seven of pregnancy, or five weeks after conception, the brain is developing rapidly with the five main sections established. 
the face is also quickly developing and eye lenses, earbuds, and nostrils become visible. The arms and legs continue to grow with paddle-like shapes where the hands and feet will be. Wow. The main branches of the lungs are developing. The embryo is a quarter of an inch long. What of an inch? During week eight of pregnancy, of or six inch? weeks after conception, the embryo's facial features are becoming more defined as the brain grows to support the senses, such as vision and hearing. The cerebral cortex in the brain has developed and all the cranial nerves which emerge from the brain are in place. The arms and legs are growing longer and joint development is underway. Blood is forming in the liver. The intestines are developing and fill the base of the umbilical cord. The embryo's C-shaped trunk is beginning to straighten. It is about half an inch long. During week nine of pregnancy, or seven weeks after conception, bones have begun to form. The embryo's arms are growing and can bend at the elbows. The legs, hands, and head can move. Toes are beginning to form, and wow. upper and lower eyelids are in place. The heart has four chambers and is nearly complete. Production of cerebrospinal fluid has begun. The embryo can hiccup. It is close to three quarters of an inch long. During week 10 wow. of pregnancy, or eight weeks after conception, all the vital organs are in place, along with fingers and toes. The genitals are forming, wow. and development of the skeleton is underway. How can we question? Is becoming rounder. How can the we question humanity? Face, and the hands and feet begin to touch each Gosh. other. The end of this week marks a change from the embryonic wow. to the fetal period of development. That is, the transition from I love my mom. to a fetus. The fetal stage that is lasts. absolutely amazing. During week 11 of pregnancy, or nine weeks after conception, the placenta is providing nourishment that enables the fetus to start growing more rapidly. Red oh blood cells gosh. are beginning to form in the liver. The external genitals become visible. The fetus can now sigh, stretch, open its mouth, and move its tongue. Wow. It drinks fluid, and there is movement in the small intestine. The fetus is about two inches long. Two inches! Week 12, Two inches. or 10 weeks after conception, is generally considered the last week of the first trimester. Wow. The fetus has developed fingernails and toenails. The corpus callosum, which connects the right and left sides of the brain, has begun to develop. The intestines are moving from the umbilical cord into the abdomen. The fetus now yawns. It is nearly three inches long and weighs about half an ounce. Oh my gosh. At 13 to 18 weeks, 11 to 16 weeks after conception, all the baby's nerves, organs, and muscles are functioning. The immune system, sex organs, and respiration are developing. The skin is forming distinct layers, and the baby is developing fat stores. Its ears stick out of its head. At 19 to 25 weeks, 17 to 23 weeks after conception, Downy hair covers the developing baby's body. Melanin production begins. Oh my god! The developing baby can swallow and suck. Oh. Its sense of taste and touch have developed, and it responds to sounds. Oh Our my god! Lashes can be seen, and the hands are fully developed. Yo! That is absolutely amazing! The trimester begins at 26 wow. weeks. At 26 to 30 weeks, 24 to 28 weeks after conception, the eyes are open and fully oh. developed. They can sense light and produce tears. Oh my Brain weight increases four to five fold. The lungs oh begin breathing gosh. like movement. The baby begins to store minerals to help bones grow strong. Jesus. At 31 to 36 weeks, 29 to 34 weeks after conception, the baby's skin is red and crinkled. Rapid weight gain continues and fat deposits round out the baby. The baby's lungs are almost fully developed. The fingernails reach the ends of its fingertips. At 37 to 40 weeks, 35 to 38 weeks after conception, the baby's lungs are mature and it can grasp something. The baby has enough fat to maintain a normal, consistent body temperature. Wow. The baby is now considered full term and normal gestation ends.
Oh my gosh, the video end. Oh my gosh, wow. I'm telling you, this idea of a portion, I don't know how these people can sit down in this poor food position that they have been given by other human beings for senate, for government, for constitution, for parliament and decide we as human beings we are agreeing that you should rip out that form from your body because you just don't want it at the moment this will certainly affect us in the future I am telling you this will affect us even the women who are allowing these tools to go in their body or who are taking in these pills to just destroy what's in them what's growing in them and you will reach a position where you finally meet that husband or that boyfriend or that guy that you love and then you want to give him a child and then BAM! you cannot anymore you don't mess with this precious ability to make or to create or to allow a child to grow in you the whole idea of abortion I just totally hate it I hate is a powerful word I hate the idea of abortion I just do not like it if you have been raped you cannot justify killing that form in you for what you're going through traumatically you cannot say to yourself I'm so hurt by this event of rape that I'm not going to hurt something else you cannot just hurt with hurt you have to allow that child to form if you hurt, allow the child to form and put that child for adoption, someone will adopt that child. You cannot determine what's going to happen to that child in the future. You cannot determine that. You, I just don't understand how they're allowing these things to slowly creep into a society where abortion is basically becoming legalized and okay. I watched a video of a young man crying at the floor of the center, the medical center, wherever it is, the abortion center, crying and begging his girlfriend, do not kill the child, do not destroy it. That is just so sickening how the world is getting. So sickening. And I really think if it is that we... Do not put down our feet and tell these politicians, tell these lawmakers, policy makers what we expect. They are just going to ruin the place. Remember, no politician can just do whatever they want. It has to be the standard of the people. So we need to put on our feet as human beings. We need to put on our feet. Did they try to find all kinds of ways to justify why someone should kill a child? Why you should, it's my body, I can do what you want, I want. Well, then you should not have sex. If you're raped, you did not give permission, then do not give permission to kill that form. Allow the child to born and give the child for adoption. I just, wow. But that was a powerful video. I, I really enjoyed it. It was so remarkable seeing and hearing some of the things I did not know before. We, when we're growing up, we just know a man and a woman have sex, they make a child. Bam. Then, as we start growing up in life, we know about man and woman and sex, how long it will take for the child to be formed and so on, bam. Then we start learning, but more and more technology is getting more advanced to show us how precious this, 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 this process is, how precious it is. I'm telling you, in 2050, we basically will see a real, you know, from the time a sperm meets an egg, I'm quite sure we'll be able to see that till the end of the nine months. This is how amazing technology is getting. Of course, thank you so very much for requesting this one. Yes, I did have an emotional outburst because this is something so concerning to me. So very concerning, okay? Thank you so very much. Subscribe, of course, like and share. If you want me to react, please leave a comment below. Thank you so very much. Bye, guys.